Did you know that there is a song rumored to be so sad and depressing that it makes you kill yourself? Hey friends, welcome to Vinylize. I'm Jarrett New, and today we're going to talk about an infamous song called Gloomy Sunday, which is also referred to as the Hungarian suicide song because of its infamous reputation. Also, this song has been rumored to be so depressing that it has made several people kill themselves. Now, is that really true? And is it also true that the song was completely banned on many radio stations because it led to too many suicides? Well, we're going to find out about all that stuff in this video. Okay, so Gloomy Sunday was composed in 1933 by a Hungarian pianist named Rezo Saris. And according to the story, although his original song lyrics were about war and apocalypse, his friend, a poet named Laszlo Javor, changed these lyrics to become a heartbreak ballad instead. The new lyrics were about a guy wanting to commit suicide following his lover's death. And this version ended up being way more popular than the original. So that's the one they ended up going with. And they titled this new song, Sad Sunday, which loosely translated from Hungarian became Gloomy Sunday. And then as the legend goes, the suicides began. Also, because of its dark reputation, the song became very famous and even spread to America where it was translated into English and then covered by many famous musicians over time, most notably Billie Holiday. But personally, I prefer the cover by Sarah McLachlan. It's a modern cover and it is stunning, haunting, and beautiful. So I'll put the links to both of those versions of the song down below in the description of this video. Definitely listen to them and let me know what you guys think. Now, regardless of the song, Hungary to this day still has a higher suicide rate than its neighboring countries. According to a study in 2012, out of 100,000 people, 19.1... How can you get 0.1 of a person? Anyway, out of 100,000 people, 19.1 committed suicide in Hungary. So Hungary was the third highest after Lithuania and Russia. Now, am I singling out Hungary? Absolutely not. Suicide is a worldwide problem. But what I am saying is that statistically, Hungary has a higher suicide rate already. So we should definitely factor that in when talking about Gloomy Sunday. Also, as a side note, in the 2006 dark comedy, Wrist Cutters, A Love Story, great movie by the way, there are several songs featured on the soundtrack that are associated with suicide. It does in fact have a version of Gloomy Sunday, but also the songs Love Will Tear Us Apart by Joy Division and Death Wish by Christian Death. Both of those bands were fronted by singers who committed suicide. And speaking of movies, Gloomy Sunday was also featured in several scenes in Steven Spielberg's classic film, Schindler's List. Now getting back to the history behind the song, is it true that it has caused many people to commit suicide over the years? Well, yes and no. Although there's no direct evidence that the song has been linked to people killing themselves, in the 1940s the BBC declared that this song was in fact too upsetting for the public and would only allow instrumental versions to be played on the radio. This ban was then lifted in 2002. Also, there are in fact several rumors of up to 17 suicides linked to this song, which happened in Hungary before Gloomy Sunday was banned. However, because these rumors are so old, it's hard to verify if they are in fact true or not. Even the popular rumor debunking website Snopes.com has the status of this rumor as undetermined. So even they don't know. But one thing we do know for sure is that the composer himself, Rezo Saris, did commit suicide later on in his life by jumping from the window of his Budapest apartment building in January 1968. Now, several sources close to him believed that the success of his song, Gloomy Sunday, had actually increased his unhappiness because he knew that he would never be able to write a second hit. That's pretty sad. Now, being that we're all super depressed, here's a photo of a cute little kid in sleeping. I feel better already. Now, what do you guys think about Gloomy Sunday? Let me know down in the comments below, and if you like this video, join the Vinyl Revolution and hit subscribe, because I'm gonna be coming out with a lot of great videos every week that you're not gonna wanna miss. Be sure to find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and more. All my social media links are down in the description below. And most importantly, guys, have a great day, and keep spinning that vinyl. Kittens are awesome.